Hello and welcome to episode 11 of my Working with Evernote series. In this episode, I want to take you into a slightly more advanced method of searching your Evernote notes. Now, when you get, like in my case, I have over uh, maybe nearly 3,000 notes in my Evernote, uh, search becomes a vital part of the whole Evernote experience. Now, I'm obsessively organized, and one of the most important searches I have is for notes with no tag. Now, for you, for many of you, this might not actually be very important, but when I come to uh, reviewing my organization systems, one of the things on my list is to check Evernote for any untagged notes, because I tend to use tags more than probably I other people do because that's where I do most of my searches and research. So this is a, a tag that I strongly recommend that you save. And basically it's a bit of a code, but it's very short. What you need is a dash and then which indicates minus and then tag and then colon and then the asterisk. And what that's going to do is that's going to find all your tags with no, sorry, all your notes with no tags. Now, this is a search that I would want to save. So I'm going to uh, save that search. And if you remember from last week, uh, for those of you using Mac, we go down into edit and down to find and then save search. And that is a search that I would definitely have saved in my Evernote um, system. Now, I generally use my mostly Evernote on my desktop, but for recording purposes, I'm using my laptop computer. So that's why that tag was not saved. But if we go into here now, you see that my save searches, I've got no tag. So if I go back into my inbox, as you can see, this, this belt by RM Williams, is uh, a new note that I added earlier today. Therefore, it's not tagged at all. But if I just go into all my notes here and then I go into my search notes, I can go down to my no tag. And sure enough, it'll pick up the notes that I do not have a tag in. That one is very, very important. Now, something else that you can do now. For me, I think one of the easiest um, ways of doing advanced search is to use the add search option feature down at the bottom of the search box. So when you click on the search notes, it'll say add search option. So you can search notebook, tag, it contains. Source would mean like if it's a PDF file or an image or a PNG file, uh, the date created or the date modified. So let's just say contains. Uh, and this it says images, audio files, to dos, incomplete to dos, encryption, post it notes, moleskin notes. So um, let me have a look. Have I, I don't know if I've got any to dos in there, but let's just see. Will that work? And let's go. Has it? And then add. And there we go. Sure enough, it's actually picked up all the notes that I have here with to dos in it. So. Uh, let's have a look down here. Yeah, next actions I've got down here. JR thoughts on N1 and way forward. So we've got, yeah, we've got to do uh, to do's here. That's a really, really cool um, search. So, and it's reasonably quick. So let's click out of that. Let's go back into here. You can go down to here, add search option. And let's say, I don't know if we do it with contains. Uh, source. Would is, is it an email, web page, mobile, desktop? So this is where did the actual note come from, the source? So did it come from email, web page, mobile, uh, desktop? So I'm going to click on no mobile and then just add that search. And let's see what comes up here. So uh, these have all been added by my notebook, uh, by my um, by mobile. As you can see, I actually create a lot of notes by mobile. A lot of things I use for like name cards, for example, are in here too. So this to me is one of the easiest ways to do the advanced search. In the next episode, I will show you um, how to do this manually. But for most purposes, I would say use um, specific 
um, use these helpers for you so you can add this so let's work uh, search general my general reference personal add that and then I can add another um, one and add a tag and I'm going to add uh, let's say down interests uh, oh let's go to the Land Rover and add that and so here we go we have one note in my general which is Land Rover turns over 65 and it brings up the note now if I was doing a project on Land Rover I could save this search and whoa we're good to go um, so I strongly recommend if you are doing a search for anything specifically use these helpers down at the bottom here because they can really it means that your codes are going to be correct and you're not going to get too many um, uh, difficult things so created before or since and then let's say this year uh, which is a which actually is something that you may want to use quite a lot so there you go these are all the notes I've created this year so it's it's it to me it's the easiest way to do a slightly more advanced search from just searching for notes uh, using a keyword or words or expression so I want to take this slowly because I know that search in Evernote is so powerful and I don't want to confuse you by adding too many options. So we'll do one more. We'll have a look at what else you can do in this add search option. So modified. Um, so modified uh, since and then let's go since this month and then add that. And then we can get all the uh, notes that we've modified um, this month. So hopefully you found this particular episode useful. Play around with these um, options that you have, these search options. You can add multiple options um, because when you like notebook here, you can see add and then you can add another search option, uh, tag and add. And you know you can add as much as you want into uh, this search option just using the search options next time I will show you a much more uh, sort of fluid way of doing searches but then you start need to then you need to start learning uh, sort of like a basic code for it I mean it's very easy uh, and quite logical but if, if like me you don't specifically have a logical brain it can be a little bit more complex so Hopefully you found this episode useful. If you have any questions at all about Evernote and Evernote search, please feel free to leave a comment, leave a comment in the comment section below. And really all it can say, all I can say is please, please subscribe to my channel and I will hopefully see you in the next episode. So have a very, very productive week.